without mercy, took his reign over the howling abyss. It's Reckless! And his opponent, in a battle of top laners, he flipped the tables and with the help of a turret, executed a successful 2v1. Ladies and gentlemen, Smab! Lock and load, gentlemen. Let's have at it. This is one I'm really excited yep. for. I think this might be kind of the highlight of the day here because everyone is kind of expecting LCK to win a lot of things, yep. and, and they've already kind of been smashing in Summoner's Rift. So this is, this is a time where a uh, Western player could take down Smeb and, and maybe go all the way. Yeah, this is a kind of our last hope, um, aside from maybe XPK as well. Yeah. Uh, Reckless. Definitely needs to perform, playing versus Smeb. I think the combined fan following from these guys as well probably is like the, the most hype match. There is a uh, Mata Prey later, but let's uh, look at their stats here. Reckless, four solo kills, Smeb 26. There's a... Uh, you know what, it's only because of 30 support players like you stealing the glory, you can't get the <laughs> solo kills. You're yep. about to get it, you shield them, you take it away. I mean, Reckless is really good at not dying yeah. to the point where it became a meme. Yeah. Um, so maybe that helps him in the 1v1, but in, in the solo kill department, he's definitely lacking. Um, maybe we give it to Smep for that reason. Yeah, there you go. But uh, we have seen Reckless showing up on the time. We saw him play a little Vayne, you know. I wouldn't mind seeing a Vayne versus Vayne matchup here, but I'm not sure if uh, Smep would want to agree to that one. Vayne versus Vayne is kind of only fun if they run, for me, if they run Flash. Yeah. Because you get the E Flash and you can change the angle uh, while you buffer the E, but I don't think that's that's really going to happen. No, neither will. Because Exhaust versus Exhaust Vayne is like, it sounds good on paper, but it gets boring really quick. Yeah, that's true if it just becomes a farm fest. But uh, Smeb, we've seen a lot of people running the Darius. We saw it inspired yep. uh, Yankos to varying success there. <laughs> um, but, you know, that has been pretty popular, and he could ban out some of the kind of safer AD carries and just yep. go Darius again. Uh, we'll see if Reckless is kind of expecting that has some other types of champions prepared, or if he just has another AD carry prepared, because you can't ban out all of them, especially if Reckless is not going to ban any himself. Yeah, definitely so. Kind of as a joint effort here. Rise, Cassiopeia, Rengar, banned out by Reckless. Yeah, so, so I just want to get caught in all in, it seems. Draven is still gonna, available for now. Lucian is going to be available. Uh, we have seen Plissa sometimes win. So there's there's a lot of AD carry options here. Um, and there, there, there are also two champions that are very kind of Reckless-centric. Yeah, at All-Stars, he's played uh, an abundance of kind of cannon. And, oh, insta-lock. Ooh, the insta-lock. Smep just forgets the fact that the... Uh, there's a screen right there, buddy. Like, above you. Uh, yeah, Reckless can just look over and be like, oh, I guess I'll play Nessus. <laughs> but he's not looking up. Let's follow those eyes. Yeah. He's so focused. See, that's the problem. Sometimes, sometimes Zell, you got to step back and look at the bigger picture. Smell the flowers. Yep. Look at the giant screen. Yeah, literally. Counter pick Literally the, the bigger picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's thinking, like, I don't know. What is Map going to play here? I wonder mm, if he, he might be playing like a little blanc here. Might have to go for a safe AD carry. And it's a pretty. Uh, Pretty poor matchup, I feel. Yeah, uh, I think he probably has to take barrier and try to play this a little bit more defensive. I don't think you want to kind of opt into the ignite and, no. and that sort of all-in fight. There's uh, no sustain like advantage either. Like it's not like yeah. the Blanc's gonna region a lot. I think the the barrier exhaust is something that sounds exactly like what you're saying. It's also very predictable. The yeah. damage output from a Blanc is very like burst centric. It's so you super definitely... predictable now, especially with the change, right? Yeah. You literally see the circle around your character filling up, and it's like, whoa, oh, he might do some damage now. Crap, I wonder what's coming yeah. here. Three chains. <laughs> All right, focus on the eyes. Reckless is ready. Smeb seems uh, quite relaxed. Yeah, he does. And, and it's it's something where a lot of these really good uh, Korean players like on the ladder, uh, they actually play a lot of different roles. So even though he is a top laner, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have other champions in, in his wheelhouse, right? The Faker yep. obviously famously plays a ton of fill. Uh, and Solo Q has reached the top of ladder just playing fill and playing different roles. And Smep is another guy who was top of Korean Challenger and obviously can play a lot of different champions, not just the ones he showcases in competitive. Play. Also, kind of he has to play different styles. Top laner, a top lane meta has evolved from kind of a bruiser meta into a like a tank meta later. There are distinguishes. Yeah, standard <laughs> Ezreal versus LeBlanc top matchup. Yeah, super lots, standard. Lots of reps in on that. <laughs> there, ha there actually has been a time where LeBlanc was played in top lane. It's oh, kind yeah. of this AD hybrid uh, top. Um, I'm sure they've all played Ezreal. He's not that hard of a champion. Mm. Even I can play Ezreal. Just not that well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can play it. I'm physically able to select the champion. All right, let's dive into Runes of Masteries real quick, guys. There's armor on the yellows for Smeb, and the rest is just raw AP. So that's 26 uh, ability power right there and raw magic pen. So Smeb is 
as all in as all in can get. Masteries as well. Ferocity 12, Cunning 18. So again, yeah, playing very very forward at, at all in centric. And, and reckless, we can assume it is into resolvers into defensive masteries because he doesn't have biscuits. And he's actually playing knight. He didn't decide to go for the barrier, which I'm pretty surprised about. Um, so he, he's not actually going to be able to have that kind of defensive advantage. And I would have thought he'd want to kind of out sustain his opponent, poke him out with Qs, sit back. Long's not going to have a life skill. So we just checked. Uh, barring any errors in the research and my spelling, Reckless is running 12-18. Okay, so that's very aggressive, actually, especially in addition to that Ignite. Yeah, um, Reckless obviously has a very different way, uh, a different idea of playing this, and it certainly can work, and if it becomes a straight-up 1v1, like, all-in damage type battle, it's going to work, but you would think that the AD carry would want to try to yeah. poke at his opponent. Yeah, we'd have to see if, uh, if we can spot a Thunderlord Spark. Like, we're not in-game in our clients here, but that could definitely confirm the fact that uh, he is running the 12-18. Mm -hmm. It would make sense, like, fight fire with fire. Um, you don't need to go for the sustained kind of play style in terms of minion push, because you're going to be generating that anyway, stylistically, champ versus champ, so you may just want to be able to punish him after a bad trade, but that yeah. damage right there. Speaking of bad trades, I mean, that's the thing. And this is, it gets pretty scary. If, if that W connects, yeah. that's pretty brutal, right? So that, that's two mistakes from Reckless already. He walks up in clear path with no minion blocking the potential counter chain. And then he doesn't land the Q as Smep dashes in because he's a bit too slow. Yeah, the chain, the chain is really what it's about. You can't allow yourself to get that full chain because the chain itself will proc the passive and in goes Smep. I think he wants the all in. Oh, oh. that was well played by Reckless. He steps forward because he knows the chain would otherwise hit him, trying to hide in the creeps. Yeah, that was really close. And it, it's a trade of summoner spells one for one. It's the exhaust for the ignite. So Smeb does still have his aggressive summoner and Reckless does have the defensive one. Yeah, definitely so. But exhaust is just so valuable here versus Walk if she ever dashed in. Again, she's super telegraphed. Yep. Reckless also did use his potion there, so doesn't have that available. Smeb um, is holding on to his. We may see him pop that if he does want to go for the all-in. It could actually be kind of what gives that away. Mm -hmm. yeah, plain, but right. Reckless on first base definitely wants to pick up a no Magic Mantle. Just get that somewhere in, because again, it works against the ability so well. A couple of extra points in MR, just having you survive, and then later on your attack speak will give you much more value in extended trades. Yeah, I agree. It'll be interesting to see if he does like to do that, though, over the double Dorans, which seems like pretty much everyone goes for. Yeah, we haven't efficient. seen too many people elect for those kind of more pure defense options. Maybe Reckless will be the one to kind of break the mold there. Yeah, he will get a minor CS lead here, barring any issues. He is an AD carry. They can lost it under turret. Doesn't have a support to help him, though. Aha. Even better, no support to screw <laughs> up the CS. <laughs> Can I get the cannon relic stack, please? Oops, <laughs> ah, my bad. Running around runes. Happens. All right, Smep is going for a uh, freeze, I think. Nope, actually, he wants to bow down. That's interesting. He just wants to be able to bounce the passive, but he actually proc yep. the passive on the cannon and then used the Q on it, so it didn't bounce everything. Uh, so he did kind of mess that up, and as a result, not going to push in quite as fast. But I don't know if it really would have made a difference as far as minions no. denied. I, I don't think so. No, I wouldn't. He might be able to stop the base. So does he even want to? Is Smeb going to punish that? I don't think, I don't, I think he's scared of like a, an EW combo because Smeb was pretty high on health. If you're wondering how that would freeze, it would basically just mean you keep the wave at that side of the map and then you bounce it. But yeah, it's probably still better to clear if you can. Gives Reckless one Relic advantage. Smeb also going for Lost Chapter, so is picking up something for his mana regen, able to kind of play a little bit of a, a longer game in that way. And uh, is he able to sidestep? And Rex is actually pretty low on mana here. It looks like he may, nope, he's gonna bounce back. Trade his summoners again. Yeah, but they're not double popping him on the first trade, so they saved some for the second. Reckless right now, this is the problem, is if you go low on the first engage, Smep will threaten you for a secondary all in here. Yeah, and when he's getting zoned off the mini wave, he can't actually go for much, and his chain is there. Oh, oh it's, it's a turret shot! Oh, he got him. Marking to the block versus AD carries, man. And I wonder, I wonder if Reckless actually peeked up at the screen and if he actually went for a blind generic strong Ezreal pick that would be okay into everything, or if he was aware of what Smeb was playing there. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at him on the camera, and yes, that doesn't tell anything, but didn't look like he ever looked away from the computer screen, right? So I'm not sure that he did actually know. Uh, he may have been told by Smeb for all we know, right? He may have been fully aware of it and confident in his abilities, but uh, I can't it, believe we were like uh, just encouraged.